evening. So here I am with my uh, vending machine and I'm running some tests. But uh, not only am I running tests, I'm, I'm actually doing the work. I'm, I'm getting the job done. Um, I think the test will prove that I can make my handguards on the first try, which is, that's, that's pretty good. If I can do something on the first try and get it done right, you know, hey, that's a feather in my cap, isn't it? So uh, I've got my handguards out and uh, I started a new plan segment. Give it a whirl here. Not ready to go yet. Uh, it does take a little thinking and uh, sometimes to get the parts to work you need to make some adjustments. Uh, I had to drill my holes a little straighter and add some giant washers to the bottom of the, uh, the MDF here. When you're playing with your plastic brake for the first time, go easy because you don't know how things are going to work. In this case, I don't have a handle. I'm working with one hand. I'm just going to bend, I'm going to cold bend this one piece of polycarbonate. That's all I want to do is cold bend it. And that's what I have. I have just cold bended my first piece of plastic on my brake. You can see here from the look of the plastic and how clear it is that I did a pretty good job with it. So there you go. The idea is, is I got to take this and turn it into this. So I've had uh, my first success making my first bend. Now I'm going to make my second bend down here at the bottom. So this is the plan, a very simple plan. Get a piece of paper, fold it the way you think it's going to look, try to reproduce it with a tuffock. This is going to take some strength, so uh, make sure you hold it down tight. Um, I haven't braced the uh, the bolts with washers yet. I'm hoping I don't rip through the uh, the MDF. Boy, that would be bad, wouldn't it? But we're going to see if we can bend this. Just make sure it's real tight. Is my L? Uh, wait a second, my L piece is not straight, so I got to fix it. Yes, look closely at where your, your, your brace is. I want my brace to be tight up against uh, the angle iron. This is the part that I still have to work out. Uh, there's still some kinks in, in how tight this thing is and how tight it gets. When I tighten it down, this L bracket moves, this 90 degree angle iron moves, so I got to make sure I hold it tight and snug it down. Now I'm going to zoom in on it so you can see what's going on. Okay. Alright folks, let's give it a whirl. Hold it down snug, double check your bolts. Go for 90, it'll spring back to 45. Oh wow, that takes a lot of strength. Hold it for 10 seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, that is about the bend that I wanted to see in that. And that's about where I wanted it on the plan, so that's great.
see what we got. Doesn't match. Yeah, it does. So, the parts have the bends in them that I want. That's great. And I can bend them more later, I can, I can put more bends in them to give them a little bit more of a curve. But uh, that's a great start. That, that's, that's really wonderful. I like that. Success on the first try. What did I say? This is Christopher Thunder, and I'll see you next time. I'm going to show you that here right now. So if I turn it clockwise to increase the voltage, I get less flow, less heat. If I go down in voltage, and the glow increases. That almost sounds counterintuitive. Ah, crap. What the hell?